two-hour movie called Innocence of Muslims. Apparently cost five million dollars to make. It portrays the life of the Prophet Muhammad and touches on themes of pedophilia and homosexuality. The writer and director of the film is a man named Sam Basile from California. He's now reportedly in hiding. Basile describes himself as an Israeli Jew and told the news agency that Islam is a cancer. The Prophet والسلام, he told us that none of us believes unless we love him alayhi salatu wassalam more than we love our parents and our children and the whole of mankind so i ask myself have we muslims become like those people in britain and america that are willing to tolerate the insult to allah and his messengers and see it as free expression as comedy as drama as entertainment Obviously, uh, the Obama administration wants to distance itself from this film because if you look at it, if they spent $5 million, you're going to have to wonder where the $5 million actually went. This person behind this film said that he did it because he wanted, in many ways, to incite this kind of violence. He's standing firm uh, in what he did, putting it on YouTube. YouTube has not pulled it yet. In this society, in the West, they lost their respect for Allah and his messenger. And then they complain that they have a broken society. Then they complain that parent is not respected by his child, that no one respects the law. And they don't see the link between that and the disrespect to Allah and his messengers. But this is a man who made this film. It's these characterizations are, that are literally the worst that you could make about anybody, specifically tar targeting the Prophet Muhammad because he did want to see some sort of reaction. Brothers and sisters, in the Muslim world, not one Muslim ruler, not Mursi in Egypt, not the government in Libya or Tunisia or Saudi Arabia or Pakistan has said what needs to be said on this issue. Not one of them has cut diplomatic relations with any state that endorses or permits these kind of insults. Not one of them has threatened to stop selling oil or gas to these countries. Not one of them has called for the removal of the troops on the basis of this. This deen of Islam, which demands the protection of the honor of the Prophet والسلام, was not left to the duty of a few thousand individual Muslim demonstrators. It was the duty of a Muslim government, of an Islamic government. And when there's no Islamic government, it is no surprise that demonstrators sincere and with hearts full of love for Allah and His Messenger go out there and do what they do. The last time there was a government on this earth that took that duty seriously was the government of the Uthmani Khilafah more than 80 years ago. I want every single Muslim, inshallah, to condemn insults against the Prophet unreservedly as a red line unacceptable issue for us. I want every single Muslim in the West, inshallah, to carry this message of Islam and to tell people here what great man this man was and to counter the propaganda that we hear. And I want every single Muslim, inshallah, to work hard and call hard for an Islamic state, a Khilafah state, where the Khalifa of the Muslims would be the shield, would be the one who upholds these values on the international stage. Because unless we have that, we are going to see insult after insult after insult again. And that is unacceptable. <laughs> الحمد لله من باعث الرسل هدا بأحمد منا أحمد السبل الحمد لله من باعث الرسل هدا بأحمد منا أحمد السبل